Hello, this is the release video for this pistol, which is a Magnum Grip Nightingale Mag pistol. It has really smooth, uh, like really smooth mag, and also it gravity drops. Actuates by that button back here. And it also hits pretty damn hard for what it is. I've made a couple different versions of it. Like this one has an integrated loop, so you can prime it like this. Uh, like this entire thing doesn't have this uh, like uh, prime where you prime it over the back here. So it's always either this hook or a separate part hook. I would suggest you print the one with the integrated hook because this probably isn't too sturdy, but. This was my second prototype and it still works, so it can work if you like the different color. Um, then I also have this one, also integrated, but it's a bit smaller, so you pinch it like this, which is also pretty nice. And yeah. really works well. I've also made, <clears throat> of course, another different version, which uses a different receiver design. Doesn't have the Picatinny down here, and it also has an attachment for a stock, and it's overall a little bit longer. But yeah, kind of, I don't know, feels like a machine pistol. I really like it. Um, also, take care you don't go like before in front of that with your cheek because this will absolutely pinch your cheek, which hurts a lot. But yeah, this is that thing. Um, of course, the grip and this isn't included, but otherwise, all the different slides and receivers and whatever all are included. Um, yeah. What else can I show you? Um, kind of the latest one I made. I've also made another different grip. Um, if you look at this grip, like there's not much difference, but th this is very uh, slim, I would almost say. So it works for me when I'm wearing these glove things, um, or if you have smaller hands or something, like that's a good size. But if you have really big hands and you feel the blaster wobbling around in your hand or something because it's too slim, um, this has some buffed up cheeks and stuff. So you still rest your hand in that groove here and stuff. Still pretty comfy, but it's a bit wider. So you have more real estate to grip. Also, I've made this thing in two-tone filament. So one side is black silk, the other is red silk. I wouldn't take it outside like that, but it looks very cool. <laughs> right, um, that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy building. It'll be going up on my Etsy pretty much as soon as this video drops. Goodbye.